good old Scablands of Washington. If you're familiar with the channel, this lake needs no explanations. You know where I'm at. But just happy to be out here. Beautiful skies, clouds, slight breeze, but nothing we can't deal with. But feels good to be out here. Spring is here in a couple of days. Made it down to the lake's edge. And we're just gonna quickly start out with a Ned rig. This is a 1 16th ounce jig head with a two inch soft plastic. The soft plastic is basically a soft plastic that is used for wacky rigs and Texas rigs. But I just cut one end off and then it's my Ned rig soft plastic. So I have a spinner with me today. I have my bottom fishing rig and then obviously I have my Ned rigging rod. So we're just gonna throw the Ned rig around Along the shorelines, both on this side and that side, you can just see like all these weeds starting to overtake the shoreline. And you can especially see that with the drone footage because from a bird's eye view, you can just see it much clearer versus like how we see it here. So I don't think a Ned rig is going to be the most effective in all of these weeds because the Ned rig is just gonna fall inside of all these weeds and the fish most likely won't be able to see it. See, just like that, you can already see here. Just got a bunch of grass on the Ned rig. But should this fail, we can always tie up something else. Yeah, this wind is not very nice though. My Ned rig is a little light, so it's getting more pushed around with the wind than me actually working it. All right, I don't think the Ned rig is it for this spot. I might have to use the Ned rig if I move to a deeper part of the lake, but for here, the weeds are just way too thick for me to work this Ned rig correctly. We have my grill. Hopefully we catch a fish. I went to the store the other day. I wasn't really planning on buying any fishing stuff, but then I found this tackle box where inside the foam, they have all of these holes that's meant for your power bait. So you can just slide it in here and they kind of just stay in place. So you don't have to worry about these um, jars right here just rolling around in your tackle box, breaking everything. So I've just got my power bait all organized here and I do have like the rigging stuff, my weights, my swivels and my hooks in here. I do have some bells up here as well. And again, I just have a bunch of different colors of power bait. And then I do have my leader line here in case I need to retie. But with that being said, I think we're gonna go to one of my confidence baits, which is the rainbow color. It's almost out. That's why you keep up with inventory because I went and bought the same exact color the other day. Just running a slip sinker rig. Carolina rig, whichever you want to call it, running a size 14 treble hook and just rolling the power bait into a ball, sliding this over. Hopefully this is good enough for this rod holder. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Let's just cast this thing out. Hopefully I can bomb it way past the weeds. Uh, we'll see if that's the spot. Just hiked a little bit further up the lake. Got to a spot. There's no weeds as far as I can tell, so it's a lot more ideal to fish. So once again, I'm just gonna toss out my power bait rod. And then as it sits there, I'm just gonna throw my spinner, my Ned rig around. I really have no idea what these fish are up to. I haven't been here in a while, so.
Oh, that was a fish. Oh, that was a fish. That was, oh. I thought I was snagged. Oh. Darn it, guys. Oh, that was 100% a fish. I felt him uh, take it for a second and then I let go just to see if that was a snag or if it's a fish. And then as soon as I was gonna set the hook, he let go. Well, at least we know that there's a fish in here. He bit us somewhere right around here. It wasn't the biggest of bites but it was definitely enough to notice. From here on out, if I feel my Ned rig just have the slightest pressure, I'm just gonna set the hook. I'm not even gonna wait for the fish to take it because it seems like these fish are pretty finicky. They bite it, it doesn't feel right, they let go. At least from the small sample size of one that I got my bite from over there, that's kind of what the fish are telling me. They might be a little picky and a little finicky today so as soon as i feel a little bit of pressure whether it's a fish or a snag i'm just going to set the hook because hook sets are free today is one of those days where it really tests your patience i feel like if anything these fish are going to be a little bit slower today a little bit more lethargic. I don't know if lethargic is the right word because the water's warming up, but I just don't think they're as active as I, I want them to be. So we're gonna tie this Ned rig on this time. I'm going with a rainbow color. Rainbow color for a rainbow trout. Makes sense to me. I'm just kidding. I don't know if that actually makes any difference, but I'm just gonna try a different color. One question I get is what knot do I tie? I tied the uni knot for pretty much, oh, let's say 100% of the time for all my fishing. It's pretty much my go-to knot. So we just got it tied. And that's what we're rocking with. Yellow on the bottom, blue on the top, and then just a bunch of sparkles. Oh, I got a fish. What the? Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. That was the weirdest thing ever. Oh, he, this guy's a big one. This guy's a big one. I don't have my net with me. Oh, he engulfed it. He choked it. Guys. That's a toad. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beach him. All right, come here. Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at that. Just choked the Ned rig. Uh oh, look, all the eggs are right there. Put her in the net real quick. All right. That's a big girl. Oh my goodness. That is a toad. That's gotta be like a four or five pounder. Oh, that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I'm actually gonna release her. She's, she's too big for me to keep. All right, big mama. You are free to go. There you go. Right there. There she goes. This power bait rod right behind me hasn't even gotten touched. Neither has the spinner. But I think we found the ticket for today. If you've never caught trout with a Ned rig, man, 
you should try because not all the time, but a lot of the fish, a lot of the trout I catch on Ned Rigs are big fish like that. So some of you might be asking me, why did you just let that fish go? The truth is I've been out here for two hours, haven't had much action. That was my only fish I've caught today. And there's a couple of reasons why I let her go. The first one was, yes, I could have done my catch and cook with her, but she was honestly a little too big for me to consume in one outing and I didn't plan to take a fish home. So she was oversized for what I wanted today. Second, she was a female. The moment I pulled her out of the water, she was squirting eggs. And so the moment I saw all those eggs start falling out, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna release this fish. And third thing is someone else can come out here and catch her. Seems like all the bites, not all, well, technically it is all. The two bites I've had, they're relatively close to the shoreline. So I'm just gonna work close from now on. Oh, there's a fish that just jumped right there. Did you guys see that? There's a fish that just jumped right here. I got him. I got him, guys. Oh. What in the heck? Oh. It's another bacon too. Oh my gosh, that is unbelievable. What? What the heck, guys? I don't even know what to say. Oh, he's pulling drag. Wow, that's a dang, that's another big one, man. Wow, that's a beautiful dark fish. All right, get in the net. Oh, I can't get him. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Just buried the Ned rig. Buried that Ned rig. This guy's got sharp teeth. Toad, too big. We're gonna release him. What a gorgeous fish. That's gotta be a male. Super sharp nose, typically a male. Just skinnier on average. He's biting me. Ow, 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 ow. All right, bud. There you go. It seems like these fish, they're kind of just cruising along this uh, flat bench right here. So, hey, theory is proven to be true. Fish close instead of far. This power bait rod, it's not even that far out there either. Oh my gosh, I got a fish. What in the heck, guys? That's another beautiful, oh, oh, I'm tangled around this rod. I'm tangled around this rod. Darn it. Oh, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, this guy's a, he's a fighter. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm tangled around this rod. What's going on? What's going on here? Oh, that's a eater. That's an eater. He's still a giant, but. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. My net's way up by you guys. Oh, this guy's a perfect eater. 
well, I wouldn't say perfect, but he's smaller. What is going on? What is going on? I'm at a loss for words. This one's a female. She's uh, puking out eggs. That's another giant. I can't believe it. That is another beast, but she's puking eggs, so I'm gonna let her go too. This one's too big to keep. There you go. Oh my goodness. I'm looking for one fish around that 15, 16 inch mark, but these ones are like 20 plus. Since the sun is setting, I'm just packing up and I'm just gonna slowly fish my way back to the car. If we catch something, then I guess we're lucky. If we don't, then I think that's a solid day of fishing right there. So the pack, call the rods and we're just gonna slowly fish the shoreline as we head off the lake. I'm very happy that the wind died, but it doesn't really matter to me anymore since I'm heading out. But what a trip. Fishing was great. The scenery is phenomenal. That will do it for me today. I had a blast coming out here and just trying to figure out these trout. Three beautiful trout, just a little too big for me to cook up and eat. So decided to let them go instead, let them get bigger. But that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching. Till next time.